And even before this news, many Republicans called for President Obama to absolutely clean house, fire his economic team. Will the calls only get louder? Earlier, Republican Congressman Tom Price went on the record. Congressman, good to see you. Hey, Jamie, thank you so much. Today's GDP numbers, it's an indicator that's known to really tell all of us about our nation's economic health. What's your analysis today? Well, the, uh, the, the rate was uh, adjusted downward to 1.6%, uh, uh, not exactly where folks thought it was going to go, but still less than half of what it was in the first quarter. And I think what it says to uh, our nation is that that uncertainty is still out there in the market. That uncertainty is still out there in the economy. Uh, businesses, the job creators, don't know whether or not there's going to be a tax increase, whether or not the mandates for health care are going to go through in the way that they were passed. Uh, what's going to happen in this economy? And so they, they just they pull back and, and they don't expand the economy. And that's very, very troubling. You've called for specific action. Even before these numbers came out, you say that the Treasury Secretary must go and Larry Summers must go too. Is this a staffing issue or do you think that we might have been in a worse position if in fact some of the stimulus money didn't go out from this administration? Well, I think the stimulus uh, money, the non-stimulus bill, as I call it, uh, of uh, eight, 19, 20 months ago, actually has deepened the challenge that we have and, and prolonged it. Uh, the fact of the matter is the folks in charge right now have failed in turning this economy around. The American people know it, and they're very, very angry about it. So what, what we called for, as, as uh, uh, Republican leader Boehner called for uh, initially, uh, is for Secretary Geithner and Larry Summers uh, to, to go. They need to resign because the policies that they're putting in place are not being effective. We could be effective if we were to give some certainty in the market out there, say we're not going to raise taxes, we're not going to uh, punish you at, from a, a national energy tax standpoint, we're not going to have health care mandates that will drive you out of business or decrease your ability to create jobs, and we're not going to increase taxes on the American people or those job creators. If we were to do that, you would see remarkable turnaround around in the economy. Is that what you would tell the American people the GOP would do differently or is there more? Uh, absolutely. You've got to stop the spending madness. Uh, where we, we now have two years straight of $1.4 trillion deficits. The unemployment rate is, is static and likely will go up before the end of the year because of the numbers that we've just seen. And so you've got to give some certainty in the market and we've got to spend within our means. We can't continue this deficit spending at the federal level. The Republican Study Committee, a group that I'm privileged to chair in the House, put forward a balanced budget this year. We, we, we offered and introduced a balanced budget this year. Uh, why aren't we moving in that direction? The American people are confounded by the, the lack of leadership that they're seeing come out of this administration and Speaker Pelosi and, and Harry Reid. And, and they are so mad that they're going to make their wishes known in 67 days on November 2nd. The White House says that the president will likely speak about the economy in this coming week. Short of taking your recommendations on hirings and firings, what would you like to hear him say? What would work? Well, I, th I think what the president has to do is admit that the policies that he's put in place have failed. Uh, that, in fact, we continue to see uh, unemployment higher than they uh, predicted. Remember, the stimulus was supposed to keep unemployment at 8 percent or below. It's now at 9.5 percent and likely going up. Uh, his policies have resulted in the largest deficits in our nation's history, save the last two years of World War II. Uh, we can't continue to borrow and spend our way to prosperity. It's not going to happen. No nation has ever done it. So what the president needs to tell the American people is, I've learned. I understand and appreciate that the job creators out there are not be, being given the opportunity to create jobs. So we're going to get our fiscal house in order. We're not going to continue deficit spending. We're not going to increase taxes. We're not going to impose a, a favorite treatment for unions across this country that decrease the ability for jobs. And we're not going to put in place the health care mandates uh, that were passed before. If we were to do that, if he were to do that, we would see the economy turn around. Congressman Tom Price with his prescription for getting the financial house in order for America. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Jamie.